everybody to Carol's Art Room. I'm going to do a bloom on this octagon wooden ca uh, can canvas. I'm going to put some white paint down first. This is called the pillow paint. I'm doing the bloom technique. I'm just going to put a little bit of paint underneath here. It helps. It helps it stay. And then as soon as the paint runs down the sides, it won't move. But this is a deeper one, so it might take longer to run down. <clears throat> Okay, so I've got some, uh, I'm getting paint on my arm again. So I've got a navy blue. I've got some baby blue, deco arts, or sky blue and baby blue mixed together. I have a magenta that I mixed a few different colors together. So, um, Let's see if I can let's see if I roll it down. So it's Deco Art. No, that's not it. That's this one here. Permanent Magenta by Windsor Newton. Pink Tourmaline by Deco Art and Baby Pink. All mixed in here. So I think I'll put this one first. I'm gonna try not to put too much paint. I want most of it to stay. And then I'm going to put some blue. And I'm going to put some navy. Navy and then I have This blue indigo waves by this little piggy and um, pink fairy floss. Fairy floss next. I like this color, it's pretty, very bright pink. And then the indigo waves. I like this one too. We used it a lot lately. See the consistency. Gray, I want to finish up, so I'm going to use it. Ooh, that's a lot. All right, I'm going to use my mini blower.
Ooh, that's very pretty. I didn't blow it out very far, but that's okay. Maybe it most maybe it'll stay on. I went really close with that one. Oh well, that's fine. Let's see how it spins now. Colors, so gorgeous.
it's moving still quite a bit. indigo blue when you look one way you can see green when you look the other way it's blue <laughs> I don't want to spin it. I think it's good now. There, isn't that pretty? Really nice. Thanks for watching. Wow, magenta and blue looks so pretty together. And there's navy in there, but I'm glad too much navy didn't come out, which is good. I just got a little bit of contrast. Whoops. There. Okay, well, thanks for watching this and uh, come back to Carol's art room. I'll put the dried result at the end. And check underneath in the description below the video and you'll see my recipes and uh, some other tutorials links okay have a great day bye hi everybody I thought I would show you my dried results live so this is the bloom I did came out really nice it's on a wooden octagon Colors are really pretty. Dried so smooth and nice. I really like this one. It's about uh, six by six, I guess. Seven by seven. So if you have problems picking colors, have a look on Pinterest. There's lots of great ideas there for color choices. Thanks for watching and uh, come back to Carol's Art Room. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.